again, I've said this before, but with Toradora, the titles don't tell me anything. This one's called Distant Star. That could be an alien race coming down to invade our planet. We have, I have no idea. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Toradora, episode 15. Last time, we had the Palm Top Tiger of Happiness. That was its whole dilemma by itself, which... I've never had any rumors or anything like that ever get started. There's always the typical rumors, but that's just such an interesting one. You know, whoever touches you becomes happy. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's funny. Obviously not true though, but it does get into a little bit of a deeper philosophical questions. Like what makes you happy? How do you, how does your happiness affect you? How do you affect the happiness of others? Stuff like that, you know? But before we get into this, I just want to give a major shout out and a major thank you to our newest Dapper sponsor on the channel, Plebma. The support you've been given on the channel, on the Discord, and on the Twitch the last couple of weeks has been unparalleled and I really appreciate it. It's been so supportive. It's been a pleasure to have you on board from me and everyone at the Dapper Squad. Thank you all so very much, Plebma. Well, remember, with certain shows like Toradora, I can't put the reaction on YouTube, so the reaction will be in the description as always come back here for the review if you guys want early access and full link to this show all the other shows i'm watching and have watched check out that patreon down below if you still want to support me and patreon's not really your thing consider leaving a like and a nice comment it means a lot let's hop into this toradora episode 15 distant star all right so it could just be is it just like, hey, we're going to be the weirdest, worst presidents you can or candidates you can even think of. So everyone's like, no, 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 we got to have Kitamura. Kitamura, please, we're begging you, please go back. Or is it going to be Kitamura himself because he secretly wants to be the president? He's just putting on a different kind of persona is like, wait, I as the president will or I as a candidate will not allow these hooligans to ruin the name of the council. I must take back my spot. I'm just curious as to which kind it is. I'm sure I'm going to find out next episode before you guys are even allowed to answer that for me. But I think there has to be something up with Kano based off what she said. And like, I'm just so curious about what they talked about. Was it last episode or two episodes ago? I think it was last episode because the Palm Top Tiger. Yeah, of happiness. I'm so curious. I'm so curious. Um, that's it. Other than that, I really enjoyed this episode. Great. Oh, no, what I really want to talk about. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't actually have it written down because it just hit me so hard. But uh, this is very relatable and this is very deep, especially compared to some real life situations I'm thinking of. I am very thankful for the fact that I've never gone through this. And, you know, I don't know how I'm going to say this or put this into words, but when it came to uh taiga realizing how much kitamura is going through and her not being able to catch it sooner is is very reminiscent of of certain suicides in this world you know like because i always think of robin williams you know because his hit me so hard he was such in my opinion he was one of the funniest comedians slash actors of our generation and and they they generally they generally say like the people who are the funniest are, are like the saddened and the most depressed on the inside and that's how they're able to not only mask themselves but they do that so other people won't feel their own pain they use that as like a as their own sort of twist on motivation stuff like that but like this was like the same thing with me for robin williams i'm just like i i wasn't like that's why i said i'm thankful to not be this close with anyone who has ever gone through something like this i would love to be there for someone who is going through something like this you know I, and the reason i i, I relate to it is because I, I i don't know exactly how I, taiga feels when she realized that but i've felt something very minute and very something similar where i'm like wow i've been completely normal completely happy myself with this person but clearly they're going through something more and i was unable to pick up on any of the signs and the reason it hit me is because you don't really pick up on the signs until it's too late. And, you know, and then you're like, damn, if only I could go back in time a week ago, you know, call him, text him, ask him how he's doing. What's up? You know, it's like it's like whenever and like they have a rule. It's not really a rule. It's just a guideline I live by. If you're thinking like if you're going through your normal day to day activities and you think about your friend, oh, like, oh, 
I wonder what David's doing right now. Send send David a quick text. Say, yo, how you doing? How's your day going? If I if I'm doing anything and I think of a homie that I haven't talked to in a couple weeks or months or anything like that, I'll just send him a quick text. Be like, yo, what's up, my dude? Just thinking about you. Hope you're doing good, man. Let's catch up soon, you know? Because like I like you know, and like I would have never thought about this had I not seen these real life instances of this happening. Like you really, truthfully, never know what someone's going through. And then you also that also makes me think back to like high school stuff like that they would always say you know watch what you say to people don't be mean to people don't you know make fun of people because when they leave the school you only know them for six hours a day you never know what their home life's like you never know what they're going through the average kid when going to school is just thinking like oh you know what well, could be so hard they get their xbox turned off when they get home some shit like that now that i'm an adult you know it makes you realize how much shit is actually out there and you know how much like it's a depressing world we live in it truly is so if we can we got to be there for each other you know, uplift each other like i said check on your friends check on your loved ones it takes five seconds to send a quick text when it could save a lifetime of misery and sadness it truly could i'm gonna end it right there though i'm gonna watch this next episode i appreciate you dapper squad peace out have a great day you guys